Hello you guys, and welcome to your 8th DiaArrow.net Blender Tutorial. Now, for those of you guys just tuning in, Blender is a free 3D modeling application that you can get online for free, no questions asked. But, in last lesson, we went over how to turn a two-dimensional image, such as Barack Obama's picture from Wikipedia, into three dimensions. And I told you guys to pick anything. You can pick any photo you want, one of your friends from Facebook, or MySpace if anybody still uses that. But I've been working on mine for the past week and a half, off and on, and this is what I've come to as of today. And if you guys have your picture opened yet. I want you to go, select your object, go, and then select sculpt mode, and then press T. Sculpt mode, we went over this a little bit last time, but just so you guys know, sculpt mode is just all of these tools, all they do is they just allow you to move the mesh in many interesting ways. And there's many other modes on here. You can check them out. But what I want to go into right now is that glaring hole right there. See that? Well, when you work on these meshes, a lot of times you're, you're cutting stuff, aspects of the picture out, and in the process, sometimes you accidentally cut out the wrong thing. And when you do this, if yours doesn't have a mistake like this, just make a fake one in edit mode and then work on it. Okay. But we want to go into edit mode when a situation like this arises. And we want to drag our vertice to this. Now, on your settings, it might not stick like that. And that's because you don't have the Magnify tool on. What the Magnify tool does is it connects vertice to vertice so that your image is whole again. But that's not all you have to do. You also have to merge the vertices that you just stuck together. And so if you don't have tool bar open right now, just press T to open it. And go right now into Merge. It's under Mesh Tools right here. And press Merge on the vertices that you modified. And you'll see all these options here. Just click at center. And now when you click back on the vertice that we merged, they're not connected. Now why is that? Well, a lot of times when you click these vertices, it's just going to click the one that's closest. And in this case, the, the two vertices are together. And so when you click that, you're only clicking one. But there's this cool little thing in Blender to select stuff. It's the select tool. It's just like in Photoshop when you select in pixels or aspects of the the um, the image, excuse me, but press control and press left click and move it around both right there. So you make sure you got both of them selected and then select merge at center. The next vertice, do the same thing and your mesh will be all stitched up. But you guys, another thing with the, with the select tool is that when you're, do, when you're taking somebody else's picture, you can cut out the background, which I already did with this picture. If you remember from the last time, the picture was from 
it was the official pre presidential picture, I think, and it was from like behind his desk or something. And so there was a lot of background I didn't want because I just wanted the face for the mesh. And so what you do to what you do to correct that is just what we did when we wanted to merge the thing. Except you don't press merge that time; you just press control, or you hold it rather. Sorry, and you select aspects of the background that you don't like, like this. And the rest of these on here, there's a, a lot of useful stuff for other things, and there's a lot of useful stuff for this, but I, 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 if you're just working on modeling right now, don't worry about really much of these yet. These are more later down the line. But, forgot if I told you this, guys, I probably have, but duplicate. Right here, just press Shift D if you want to take out an aspect of the image and duplicate it. But, that should be it. I think I've taken too much time because YouTube, what it does is, once you reach 15 minutes, it will not upload your video even if you did it. And I did it before, and so I'm always really paranoid about the time. But I'd like to thank you guys for listening. And don't forget to go to diaero.net. And don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to check out my other Blender videos, you guys. And also, you guys, this month, I want to say that I am offering something very special on my site, and that is one free page of your dream website. You can tell me what you want, what you would want animation-wise, too. So I'll do a few animations for you as well if you want that. But it's the first page free. See my website for more details. But it's a really good offer, and I rarely have seen any person offer something like that because web designers, you know, they're, they're trying to get as much work as they can get, and a lot of t times they don't have time for doing that kind of stuff. But I'd like to thank you guys again for listening, and have a great day or night, or morning, or afternoon. Thank you.